What's going on everybody? Jay Howe back at it for you guys with this time not a regular build video. We're going over the Templar and the best gear that you can have for your Templar when you're playing solo. Now there's going to be a couple key points that we're going to go over first before we hit the items and the gear. That way you know exactly why they're rolled the way that they are. And we'll go over the best in slot for those depending on your build and we'll go over a couple other options uh, that you can look for as well. Now the one thing that we're going to hit first off is if you're playing solo, you absolutely 100% want a unity. Not only for your follower, but for yourself. And you're going to see in the secondary there, all damage taken is split between wearers of this item. Now, you take a ton of damage in greater rifts, especially as you level up. And you have to find some way to mitigate that damage as best as possible. And your follower is a prime candidate. And this is absolutely necessary when you're gearing yourself and the follower. So keep that in mind, guys. And when we're talking about the unity, now your follower also takes damage. So one of the things that you want to make sure and do is to not have any life on your Templar. Because you're going to be running this relic here. It doesn't matter the stats on it as long as it doesn't have vitality on it. Equip on follower. Your follower cannot die. And that is the main reason you're using the unity. He can take as much damage as you can give him split with that unity. So it's very important to have that relic. It doesn't matter the stats. Like I said, if you have better rolls, obviously you want to put it on him. Uh, but your follower cannot die. And that's very important to have on there uh, with the unity. So you can give him all kinds of damage. So with that being said, he doesn't need life. He doesn't at all. As a matter of fact, if he has more life, that means he's going to be able to take more damage. You know, so you don't want to give him more vitality. As you can see, we're only at 80,000. You don't want life percentage or any of that. So when you're gearing him up, to go ahead and roll vitality off of your, um, your relic if you can. Don't have it on any other pieces of your gear. And a couple other things that are also very important is uh, increased attack speed. And that's going to be because the best weapon that you can probably run is the Thunder Fury. And there's a couple reasons why. And you're going to see on the secondary there, chance on hit to blast your enemy with lightning dealing. And in this case, 357% weapon damage is lightning. And it jumps the additional nearby enemies. And that actually jumps quite a bit. And the most important part of that is each enemy hit has their attack speed and movement speed reduced by 30% for 3 seconds. That's great. And that can jump up to 5 targets. And so that's really important because it gives you a, a form of crowd control. It does a little bit of damage in there. And it's just a really, really nice item to have. And part of that, you know, possibility that you can have, each enemy hit has their attack speed and movement speed reduced. Now the movement speed reduction goes a long way. If you have a build that, you know, gives you damage from Bane of the Trapped and that's something that you're running, that will you know be able to trigger the bane of the trap so your follower can go in there hack a couple things slow it down and then that's going to allow you to to get that increased damage from bane of the trap so that's very important keep that in mind now your follower can only go up to 150 percent crit hit damage that is capped uh we're gonna get a little bit more on there had a little bit of trouble rolling that on there but you don't need to worry about putting a crit damage gem in there as a matter of fact, just go ahead and put a red gem in there and get the extra damage. Boost that weapon damage up quite a bit, and uh, that'll help you out immensely. Now, your other ring, you can go a couple of different routes with this, but I'm the Bull Kathos Wedding Band. Now, it's very insignificant most of the time. When you're clearing trash mobs and stuff like that, it's, it's going to be so minimal that it doesn't do anything for you. But the percentage of that, which is, you know, less than 1%, is important when you hit the Rift Boss. When you're talking about a million, two million health, that's very minimal. But when you start talking about 20, 30, 40 billion in health, all of a sudden that number becomes much larger. I was in a 32 or 33 greater Rift earlier with this, uh, checking it out, and I was getting 5 million ticks every second. It was, you know, and again, that's not a huge number. But over a, a long period of time, especially if you're playing a Barbarian with Furious Charge and you're swinging a slow furnace, that's going to help you out quite a bit after, you know, a minute, two minutes, you know, if you're on a Rift Guardian that long. Um, that's going to help out quite a bit. 
Next up, your amulet. Now, the S of Johan is very unassuming for a lot of people. You put it on your follower and all of a sudden it becomes very important. Chance on hit to pull in enemies toward your target and slow them by, and this can be 60 to 80%. Now, this you know is a twofold thing. It's gonna pull enemies in, and I'll show you this. We'll run in, we're in torment one, so I'm gonna let the follower go in there and show off a little bit. Uh, but that actually pulls everything in. It groups it up because you know AOD, AOE damage is very important. And then it's also going to slow them, which again goes back to your Bane of the Trapped. So it's twofold there. Uh, I'm trying to roll some increased attack speed on there. Uh, like I said, increased attack speed is very important for your followers. Uh, so keep that in mind. Um, you can go with a Moonlight Ward if you want. Uh, this is going to you know surround him with the. Um, uh, you know, we'll put it on the the purple orbs that float around. That actually does help. Um, and next up, the shield. Now, there's a couple directions you can go here. Again, if your follower is taking damage, you've got to split that damage with him. And so, one of the things that you'll look at is maybe a storm shield, or for a freeze of deflection. Now, I've got this rolled for another character, so I'm not using this on this follower at the moment. But you'll see there in the secondary, blocking an attack has a chance to freeze the attacker for anywhere between 0.5 to 1.5 seconds. So if you have a little bit of a block, and that was the other point. If you're not going to run a, a Bull Cathos Wedding Band, a Justice Lantern works really well. In the fact that the Justice Lantern actually uh, will roll uh, increased block chance. So that's a really good thing to have on there uh, if you've got one available. I think we have one in our stash. And we'll take a look at that. It's somewhere around here. Things are very unorganized. Don't judge me. All right, well, there's one in here somewhere. But I promise you it rolls the increased uh, block chance. So, uh, But with the Storm Shield here, this is sheer damage reduction. We've got Strength, we've got Block Chance, we've got Resistance, we've got Reduced Damage from Elites. In our secondary, we have Reduced Damage from Melee Attacks, and we have Reduced Duration of Control and Parent Effects. So... It helps out your follower quite a bit. It helps mitigate a lot of damage for that guy. And in essence, it mitigates a lot of damage for you because of the unity. Now for your skills, and this is going to be personal preference, taunt enemies within 10 yards of you for 3 seconds when you're hit. Some people like to go that route. I like to have the heal around. Uh, that does come in pretty important uh, to have at, at various points. So that's going to be up to you. Now, I'm running with loyalty to get the life regen. However, I've been back and forth. Enemies that hit or are hit by the Templar are slowed by 80%. Again, that gives you more crowd control, and that helps, uh, you know, the, the, the Bane of the Trapped. It, it, it helps a lot there. That's going to be up to you. Because we already have the Thunder Fury, uh, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Um, for this one, Charge. Charge is a target dealing, again, he's not going to do much damage, so don't even worry about that. But it's going to stun enemies within 8 yards for 3 seconds. Again, more crowd control means more or less damage from you, so, or for you. Um, so it's a good thing to have there and to keep in mind. Don't worry about Onslaught. Delivering a massive blow every 10 seconds for somebody that's not going to do much damage, not that important. Now, Guardian, I'm running this because this is going to knock stuff back by 15 yards, um, or I'm sorry, within 15 yards. Um, it does knock them back quite a bit. That's kind of counterproductive to what you're trying to do with a lot of stuff, but it does come in handy, and he will save your life. Plus, it's got the heal on there for 182,000, so uh, that's going to run for me. For a lot of builds, you might want to run Inspire, uh, because I am not in need of Fury ever for this build. I don't really bother with it, but if you're in different builds that might become very important so keep that in mind I'll let you pick there depending on your build now we'll run out here to fields of misery and I'll show you guys we'll let the follower run in here and you'll see some numbers like I think I saw 13,000 in there there's really small numbers that's from the bull Kathos wedding band but like I said when you're fighting enemies with much higher health, you're going to find that that number is much, much larger. Now, you know, the Thunder Fury is doing a little bit of damage. The He just charged in there. I'm actually stuck in the middle of all this. The S of Johan has an internal cooldown, so cooldown reduction will not work on that, uh, but it will help from time to time when the follower is pulling in there. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Just wanted to see if a portal would open. Um... 
But our follower, as you can see, he's in there. He's doing damage. He'll be able to pull stuff in with the S of Johan. But he does a little bit of damage, and that's very important, especially you want to, you know, maximize the possible, you know, potential that you have when you're in a greater rift and that's getting damage in all kinds of places getting crowd control in all kinds of places and being able to mitigate and stay alive i mean it gearing your follower is very i think underrated for a lot of people and it's probably because most of the time you don't need them and especially if you're playing in groups i mean who does need them but if you're playing solo and you're looking to get into those higher greater rifts then you've got to be able to get every single edge possible and this is one way to get those edges so Hopefully this helped, guys. I know that you know they're gearing a follower isn't always that important, but if you're looking to get up there, like I said, you really got to focus on that. The unity is the number one item you want to have for yourself and your follower. Everything else in the relic, of course, to where they can't die. Everything else you can piece together over time, but those are items you want to focus on. So hopefully this helped you guys understand a little bit more about the Templar. We will be going over some additional videos for other followers, so... If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to hit subscribe below and be on the lookout for more videos in the near future. And if you have any comments and you want to leave me any feedback as far as what you might be running a little bit differently and possibly why, uh, feel free to leave those below. I'm kind of curious to see what other people are running. Uh, if they're not running a Bull Kathos, if they're not running uh, you know, a Justice Lantern, what's working for you? Uh, if you don't have anything to say and you like the video, feel free to hit that like button below. I always appreciate that. Till next time, guys. Happy hunting. We'll see you again.